All right, so one of the first things we need to do is get a database set up um, to use for all of our uh, programming examples that we're going to be doing. So I am going to use um, a sample database that Microsoft has provided. And there's um, originally there was a database called Northwind, which was a classic for a while. And I'm going to use a database called AdventureWorks, which is a kind of an outdoor store, outdoor recreational store with customer lists and things like that. So good little business example database. It's got a good chunk of data in it for us to work with. But before we uh, and before we do that, though, we need to go ahead and get uh, SQL Server installed locally. So we're going to eventually get this up in Azure. I'll do a separate video on getting the database moved over to the Azure SQL database. But for right now, we're going to do uh, SQL Server. So we're, we're close to uh, SQL Server 2019 coming out, but it's not out just yet. So we're going to pick SQL Server 2017. And we want the, hang on a second, let me go, SQL Server 2017 Express is what you want. This is the free version. Uh, SQL Server, again, is uh, licensed, uh, just like Visual Studio is, but the Express Edition is free. And you can have applications up to 10 gig in size, which is plenty for what we're doing. So. We just hit the download link and then go ahead and open this and it'll go through an install process. And we will just do a basic install. And you'll want to read through the, li the, the license terms and the privacy statement and hit accept. This is about a 283 megabyte download, so it's not quite as big as Visual Studio. It asks you where you want to put it, where you want the server installed. I'm going to let it just default on mine. Sometimes if I have a, a system with multiple drives, I might put it on another drive other than the drive that I boot from. So um, you can see it's going to go through this installation. Again, I'll pause. Um, it's basically installing or downloading the install um, package first, and then it will go through and do the installation for us. So it's in the process of downloading the entire, um, what it needs for the installation. So I'll pause this and come back when it asks us for a, uh, something to do here. Okay, so it's finished downloading and it's in the process of doing an installation now. It's going to ask, so uh, there'll be some options that will come up that we'll need to address here in just a minute. All right, so you can see that the installation's completed successfully. It gives us a connection string here to the database, what features are installed, and the next thing we want to do is install SQL Server Management Studio, which will let us interact with this database. So I'm going to click that. You can also go out and just search for SQL Server Management Studio SSMS. And you can pick the one that you want to do. I'll go ahead and grab SSMS 18. Now you want to get a newer version of SQL Server Management Studio or update if you can. Um, because this has got Azure integration features. And so we'll have a video, as I said, about moving a database from a local database up to Azure. So um, it's got 524 megabytes. It's got a download here. So I'll come back when it gets done and starts the install. Okay, it's finished install it's finished downloading the installer, so we'll go ahead and open that up and do the installation. So we don't need this web page anymore. 
So we'll say yes. Again, I'm installing on Windows 10. Um, and I'm running Windows 10 on Parallels on a MacBook Pro. So if you, I do that because I do both Mac iOS development and Windows development. And that's the easiest way I found to do it. You can dual boot. Or if you just have a Windows machine, you can do that as well. So it's going to go through here and do the installation for us. So again, we'll pause until it does something that we need to interact with. All right, so it's telling us that we've got a restart. So we are going to go ahead and do that. And then once this restarts, we will uh, install or we will restore, we'll go get and, and restore the Adventure Works database. We'll test uh, SQL Server Management Studio or SSMS to make sure that it is working okay first. You can see we're running parallels here, so just booting up Windows 10 again. Okay, we've rebooted and we should now see Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18. Now the SQL Server Express Edition that we installed is, is now automatically starting when you reboot your computer. So when you start your computer up, that database is running in the background. And that can impact performance and memory if you um, if you have a limited machine. So you'll want to monitor that, make sure that your machine's capable of handling that. You, you can sh have it stop and not start automatically when you bring your machine up if you'd like to. All right, so we're just starting up SQL Server Management Studio. That should allow us to connect to the database. If that works okay, then we have everything set up and we're ready to move on to the next step which is restoring the AdventureWorks database for SQL Server 2017. So well, the first thing that happens here is it's going to ask us if we want to import the settings. Um, I'm just going to say do not import. If you've got SQL Server Management Studio 2017 or the 817 version and you have some settings that you care about keeping, you can go ahead and say yes to that. But I don't have anything configured. I don't have SQL Server Management Studio 2017 on this machine. I cleared everything out to do a fresh install. So uh, the first thing that comes up here is it will want you to connect. It's, it's by default set up with Windows authentication. You can set it up to do SQL Server authentication where you put in a user ID and password. Um, it just picked this name which is my machine name with uh, SQL Express. And if I say connect, it should go out and connect to that database, which is running. And sure enough, here's the database that's up and running. It'll show me any databases that are installed, which we don't have any just yet. And that's gonna be the next thing we do. So let's leave this running. I'm gonna minimize this and let's go find it, our AdventureWorks database backup that we're gonna restore. So just search for AdventureWorks, all one word, sample database. And these are actually out in GitHub, but there is a direct link to just download them. And so uh, the one that you want right here is you want the OLTP version. So SQL Server has a lot of different options. There's a data warehouse. Um, we're just using the straight OLTP or it's just the transactional database. So I'm going to download that file 
and it'll just take a a minute or so here to do that because uh, this one is only 48 megabytes and once it's done that we will save it and I'm just going to create a place to put this so you go over here and I'm going to put it in the SQL folder is where I'm going to put it. I've got a series of SQL server videos, um, some boot camp videos. They're just very basic how you use SQL server. If you're interested in learning more about SQL, uh, those videos are out there. There's a channel just for the SQL server, um, the boot camp, what I called the boot camp. These are the presentations that I did. And so um, I'm going to pause this while it's downloading, and we'll come back when it gets done. Okay, here we go. We're uh, done with downloading this. So what I'm going to do is just open this in the download area. I'm going to move it over. I don't know what that is. I don't care. Right now, I don't know where that went. So here it is. Don't know why it did that. That's a little parallel thing going on probably. So I'm gonna cut this and go over here into the place. I have a place that I wanna store this. We'll put it down here with our SQL presentations. So there's our AdventureWorks database. Now we'll um, open up, I think it obviously tried to open this in the Mac. That's not going to do anything. All right, so now we're ready to do the restore. And so you can just, so click on databases, left click on databases, and then right click your mouse and select restore database. And you want to select device, hit the little ellipsis, the dot, dot, dot button, and it wants you to add the location, which is over here on our C drive. And just select the file. That file picker is a little bit different than what you're used to with Windows. I don't, don't know why they haven't updated that yet, but they haven't. So anyway, this is going to show you where the files are going to end up. They're going to end up in these locations. And whenever you're restoring a database, you always have this option. I'm going to just select overwrite. I'm just a habit I have. You don't want to overwrite, then don't check that box. Hit OK. This will not take long because it's, I mean, it has a fair amount of data in it, but it's not huge. And now you can see we have our database and we have our tables. And we can query one of these, like let's go select the top 1,000 rows from the person table. This will verify that the database actually is working. And you can see, sure enough, it is. There's 1,000 people out there, plus a bunch more. So if we were to just take out the top, in SQL Server Management Studio, I won't like do a tutorial on how to how to run everything, but you can just push the button here, and that will run. It actually will run whatever's highlighted. So you can highlight a command. You can have multiple commands in here. So how many how many people do we actually have in this database? And again, there's some boot camp videos out there if you want to learn more about SQL. And, oh, let's pull all this out. We don't need this with a count. And run that again. So 19,000 people, 19,000 entries. That's the reason I'm using this database as a sample as we do all of our development with REST and, and everything is because it's got a fair amount of data in it. So that's SQL Server Management Studio. That's how you restore the database up into... Uh, and where you get AdventureWorks from. 
And next video, we'll be talking about how we take this database, which is now installed locally on our machine, along with SQL Server 2017, and we're going to actually copy this database up to Azure. And you can't just do a backup and restore up there. Um, and so you actually have to do a transfer of the data. And we'll show you how to do that. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. or And also, please, I appreciate any comments you have, um, good or bad, about the video. So thanks for watching.